Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I'm host of Star Talk Radio. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! I'm getting it! Yeah, as I've said before, the good thing about science, when a consensus of experiment emerges, the good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. And climate change has taken on political dimensions, it's taken on cultural, social dimensions. And that's odd, because I don't see people choosing sides over equals MC squared or other <laughs> fundamental facts of science. But the experimental consensus is there, that human beings, by virtue of our conduct, burning sources of carbon, fossil fuels among them, that have been buried for millions of years. We burn them, carbon previously underground is now in the atmosphere, and that source of carbon uh, makes carbon dioxide. A greenhouse gas is warming the Earth. We are warming, and that has that comes with consequences. By the way, Earth will survive this. People say, save the Earth. No, don't, don't worry about Earth. Earth will be here long after we render ourselves extinct. What happens is we're changing the climate faster than our culture may be able to respond. One of the consequences is you melt ice caps. The water levels rise. Not inches, not feet, but tens of feet. And that will begin to flood coastlines. Some of the most important cities in the world were built on coastlines for the very reason that that's how you accomplish trade. It's what made those ports successful. So the very foundation of our civilization requires coastlines that existed at a time when there was not global climate change, the kind that would be warming the earth. So get ready for that. It's going to redraw the maps of the world unless we do something about it. Venus suffers from a runaway greenhouse effect. It's 900 degrees on Venus, not simply because it's closer to the sun than us. It's not that much closer. It's a little bit closer. It's got a hundred, nearly 100% CO2 in its atmosphere, and that atmosphere is 100 times as dense as ours. So heat comes in, it does not come out, and the temperature rises. I don't want Earth to look like Venus. Space is supremely hostile to life. Period. You can't breathe the air because there is no air.